Recycling is an imperfect process at best, especially for big businesses with a big waste factor involved. But new companies are trying to tackle trash with technology. Diana Olick explains in her continuing series on climate startups. Diana. Well, Dom, the estimates vary slightly, but suffice it to say the vast majority of the waste that goes into recycling containers ends up in landfills. That's due to expense and improper handling. But what if you could use AI to solve both those problems? Disposing of waste costs money, and recycling that waste costs even more money. Companies like Waste Management and Rubicon are legacy businesses expanding their recycling, but startups like Recycle Track Systems and Pittsburgh-based Roadrunner Recycling are taking it to the next step, customizing recycling. We're using world-class technology to gain very specific insights about businesses to make sure that their waste and recycling operation is sustainable and efficient as possible. Roadrunner uses artificial intelligence and data to know exactly what type of waste a business is generating and where it should be recycled. For example, a hotel. Usually its waste just goes into one container. So Roadrunner is using data to make accurate predictions of what materials that hotel generates. We're then matching those materials to outlets in those cities that accept them, and we're really solving for the logistics. Ryan says this not only improves the amount that actually gets recycled, but it reduces costs by up to 15 percent for the customers because they're not paying to recycle items that inevitably end up in a landfill. The easiest way to think about this is like an Uber for waste pickup. VC firm Fifth Wall, which focuses on climate solutions for real estate, is one of Roadrunner's investors. It provides this kind of end-to-end you know, commercial waste management service that really helps businesses generate savings. In addition to Fifth Wall, Roadrunner's backers include Beyond Net Zero, Graycroft, Franklin Templeton, Headline, and Volo Ventures. Total funding, $149 million. Roadrunner CEO says he now has more than 12,000 business customers and is growing at a rate of about 70 percent year over year. As the competition heats up, though, some of the legacy companies may now have to step up. Dom. All right. So, Diana, what exactly is keeping the larger legacy waste management companies, I can think of some big ones, right, from moving more into that recycling trade as that seems to be where the demand is actually rising? Well, the large companies have a very large market share because there's so few of them. And this is a very expensive process to transition from the typical waste management to more recycling. Some of the harsher critics might argue also that the large waste management companies out there own most of the landfills and they get some tipping fees for when things are dumped there. And so it's not in their best interest to move away from landfills and into more recycling. And, and Diana, is there a broader vision, I, I guess, for the recycling slash waste management industry about what some of these things can be used for application wise? I know personally that that now I've kind of made a little bit of an effort, a slight one. <laughs> to buy like clothing, right? A fleece jacket that's, that's made of recycled materials or, or, or made from plastic waste bottles. Is there something more that can be done bigger picture for where this industry could be in say the next five or 10 years? Well, Dom, it starts with businesses. And I know it's great that you're looking at the clothing. That's wonderful. And we should all be recycling our items. But the vast majority of the recycling material that needs to get to where it needs to go is coming from big companies, big corporations, big businesses. And that's where the sorting has to happen. And that's why we need new companies like this that are able to kind of streamline the process and make it also cheaper to get these products and these this waste to where it needs to go to actually get recycled. Because so many of the things we throw out and companies throw out just never end up getting recycled. Exactly. Diana, thank you so much, our Diana Olick.